Yo, yo, yo. You tuned in to Hood Talk News. Because, oh, yeah, the hood do talk. But we finna get into the truth about this Nipsey Hustle situation. Now, I'm finna give y'all the real breakdown from the hood perspective. You see what I'm saying? So we gonna get right into it, check it out. Everybody knows that Nipsey Hussle loves or loved Lauren London to death. And his baby mama, Tanisha, if I'm saying her name right, she couldn't accept that. She was infatuated with Nipsey. She wanted him for herself, but Nipsey did not love her the way he loved Lauren. He really wanted to be with Lauren. He loved his other baby mama, Tanisha, but he really, really to be with Lauren. And we're gonna break this whole thing down. Now keep in mind, Tanisha is the niece of Big U. Okay? Big U and Nipsey Hustle used to deal with each other. I think Big U was his manager or something. Okay? Y'all gotta think about all this shit that I'm finna say and you gotta pay attention real close and clear. Cause this shit happen in the hood every day. So we got, so far we got suspect number one and two, uh, Tanisha and Big U. Then we bring in Cowboy. We all know Cowboy is supposed to be Nipsey friend or whatever. You know, from back in the days, he like watched Nipsey grow. He, uh, you know, supposedly was a friend of Nipsey, but you know, Nipsey watched him with his third eye. And I'm gonna tell you that right now. He kept him around because he couldn't pinpoint what he felt. You know what I'm saying? Cowboy was jealous of him. Okay. Now, speculations. Everybody say Cowboy was not Nipsey' business partner. He was just a crackhead from the hood that Nipsey was helping out. Okay. Okay. Now we got Cowboy in the play. Okay. Y'all follow me along, now. All right. Now, let's get down back to Tanisha. Okay, Tanisha, we all know, was friend with Eric Holder, alright? So she probably was on one of those fucking, you know, you know, they, we know they was friends, you know. You know, I don't know what type of relationship they had, but we know they knew each other. From looking at the Instagram page where you see a picture on a fucking page, okay? Now, we know that they was friends, we got that clear, okay? Tanisha probably was on one of her dope dot drunk spells. It was like, you know, I want Nipsey. Because you know, that's what people do when they're fascinated with you. They'll go away for a minute, and then one day they just, you know, could be drinking or anything, and they have that spell like, man, I want this motherfucker. Yeah, but I can't get him, and then it turned into madness. Now you all of a sudden mad at him because you can't have him. You see, he don't want you. Now, I don't know what type of relationship they had. He probably was coming by sticking the dick in her or something. You know what I'm saying? Here and there. And that kept her fueled up and kept her going. So when it came down to the point, she felt like, hey, I, you know, I, I love this nigga, but I ain't gonna have him. And this bitch Lauren got her, you know, not calling Lauren a bitch, I'm just saying from her perspective. And Lauren got her. 
I can't take that. I'd rather them gone than, you know, me having to see him live life with her. Okay? Now, let's back up. Now let's bring let's let's bring Big U back into play. You gotta keep in mind, Big U is her uncle. He, and then, you know, him and Nipsey had their little fallout or whatever. You say they passed it up, but you know how that shit go in the hood. You know, you pass it up with a nigga. Y'all have a, a deep falling out. If you ain't get money with that motherfucker no more, if you ain't chilling with that motherfucker no more, it's still like, yeah, we squash that shit, but I'm still, fuck that nigga. You know, you know I, I still don't fuck with that nigga because, you know, I'm not eating with that so now, Big, you already jealous of him. He's just waiting on the right move. Now, you got to keep in mind, Nipsey had a thing with the uh, police to bring the gangs together and everything. LAPD, I, I feel, yeah, I could be wrong, but I feel they have shit to do with it. I think it was all about, you know, you go back to Big U, he's jealous because, he, he's jealous because, you know, Nipsey doing all this shit he want to do. He want to be the, the, the out front man, want to bring the hood back together. He want to put this shit, you know what I'm saying, back together and shit. And he want to be known in the hood for that. He don't want Nipsey to take his fucking shine. Now he's hot, he's jelly. Nipsey doing some shit that ain't even include him. And this the shit he trying to do. He talked that shit about he want to help the hood and clean up and everything. But y'all on his turn. He want to be the face of that shit. He want to be known for that shit. He want the hood to respect him for that shit. Even if he had to kill a nigga, get a nigga out of the way to be respected for that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because he want that shine. Now he already just waiting for the right opportunity. So now this bitch drunk, fucked up one night, missing Nipsey, want him, seeing, looking at his Instagram, stalking him, seeing what him and Lauren got going on, and he ain't fucking with her like that. You see what I'm saying? He's not fucking with her like that and she hate that shit. You know how a drunk motherfucker, if you got any drunk motherfucker in your family, a drug head, when they motherfucker get on that shit, they hold, they a whole different motherfucker. They might say, tell, uh, 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 say, kill that nigga right now. But don't mean that shit in the morning because they just mad at you that night. And wake up the next day and be like, damn, I said that shit? No, man, damn, that was fucked up. I gotta stop drinking, or I gotta stop smoking, or whatever the fuck they doing, you know how that shit go. Okay? So now let's get back to Cowboy. If you any motherfucker from the hood, you already know. Cowboy's a motherfucking junkie, and you go to the junkie and you say, hey man, look, this nigga gotta go. It's gonna be, you know, manipulate the motherfucker. I get, look, I got this here for you, I'm gonna get this, and guess what? Your name. Now, you know, Cowboy already jealous of, like I told you in the beginning, he already, like, fuck Nipsey. I don't want to jail, come home. I'm supposed to be the rapper, the big rapper over him. That's my little homeboy. I'm supposed to be leading the way. But when he came home to jail, Nipsey was leading the way. He ain't like that shit. He ain't like that shit. And Nipsey was helping Cowboy, but at the end of the day, he know this a motherfucking junkie, man. That's, that's my homeboy from the past, but you know, when your when you when your homeboy come out of jail and he on that shit and he dealing with motherfuckers in areas you don't fuck with and, and, and all type of bullshit and, and to all type of bullshit he ain't trying to get the money like you trying to get the money y'all grow apart. He still kept around cause the nigga had a Nipsey had a good heart. Kept the nigga around. Cause he he still had love for nigga. I just like, you know, a nigga you 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 uh grew up with, this nigga get on drugs and shit. And he still come around, but you know, you, you, you remember the old times when he wasn't like that. So you still try to keep him around and think you could fix him. And that's what Nipsey thought. He thought he could fix Cowboy, but he couldn't. And, you know, this nigga is an old school nigga from the hood. Big you an old school nigga from the hood. All it took was Big you to say, nigga, I got an opportunity for you. And nigga, you gonna end up with shit. It's gonna make you... It's gonna get this nigga out the way. And the shine gonna come on you. You know what I'm saying? You know, a whole bunch of manipulation shit. I give you this. Nigga, we in this together, nigga. I'm gonna make sure you eat. You know how that shit go. Okay. 
Now cowboy on board. Okay, we got cowboy on board now with the Nipsey. Fuck it, let's get the fuck there. Okay, I'm with it, man. Fuck it. Nigga ain't doing nothing for me like that anyway. He on private jets and shit. Them niggas ain't calling me. They want me to motherfucker sit right here. They got their snow and keep the parking lot cleaned and and watch out for these motherfuckers and that motherfucker from, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I'm tired of this stow shit. I need a promotion. These niggas ain't giving me no promotion, nigga. I need, I want what they got, nigga. You feel me? Now, you go back to Tanisha. Like I say, you seen Eric Holder on the page. Eric Holder is the nigga she know from the hood. So, of course she called Big U, crying, oh, this nigga, you know, fuck this nigga, and the nigga, who are all the problem? Big U, he can't, you know, he trying to stay clean, and been to prison, he trying to stay clean. He didn't tell, probably say, hey, look, we get this nigga done. And she like, well, shit, I know somebody will do it for the right price. Boom. Let's call air. That nigga crazy, he on the loop. He just left my house. We was smoking up there, nigga talking. He needs some money, he don't give a fuck. He a wet money, nigga, five hundred off. Y'all know how this shit go in the hood. Come over there. What's up with your baby down? You don't fuck that nigga? Nah, fuck that nigga. Damn, y'all ain't, yeah, 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 nah, nah, fuck that nigga, man. Yeah, man, fuck that nigga. That nigga do be at the counter front. Fuck that nigga, man. Nigga ain't eating with me, us. Look. I got an opportunity. My uncle said he'll give you blah 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 if you take this nigga out for me. They drunk getting high and shit. And she probably thought the shit wasn't gonna really go down. But being a sick, insane motherfucker, Eric Holder, <laughs> you know, I don't understand these niggas, you know, it's the same thing with the two part case when when it's Keefy D come out and talking about. Puff said he gonna give him uh, 500,000 to kill him up. Ain't never know a hitman to go do a killing without a goddamn deposit. Nigga, you ain't even got money to run. Eric Holder case. He's a stupid motherfucker. That nigga talk him into that shit. Yeah, we gonna give you doo doo doo. And you gotta think about it. Only a stupid motherfucker gonna do that. Without a deposit saying, hey nigga, I need at least some, some backups, nigga, some security. So, when I motherfucking, goddammit, do this, I had to run, nigga, I need something in my pocket. This nigga ain't even have money to run. You feel what I'm saying? And you, and, and, and you gotta look at the fact that this nigga was so dumb and stupid he felt for it he was that that he was that stupid but yeah man uh that's how i feel about the whole situation the hood talk you know certain you know shit out there shit and and, and that's basically how that shit pretty much went down when this shit unfold y'all gonna be shocked all the players that was involved and that's the reason why you gotta think about it, that's the reason why the girl won't take the picture down because she don't want that shit to get back to him and piss him off. Oh, motherfucker, take that picture down. Damn, what the world? Hey, they in this with me. Because she know how his fucking mind think he, the motherfucker is crazy. You know what I'm saying? He a flip-flop, like, off dumb shit like that. Like, oh, he took my picture down? Yeah, man, she took your picture down. And, and, and now he talking. Well, okay, fuck them then. I'm the only one sending this motherfucker. They trying to take picture down. Make it like I ain't, they, you know, they ain't got nothing to do with the shit. Man, I'm talking fuck this shit. And that's why she won't take that fucking picture down because she don't want to piss him off and to get back to him that, oh, she, now nah, she know you and all type of shit. Because she know this motherfucker ain't dealing with a full dick. He think petty. And he, he, he and they don't want to piss him off while he end up and start talking. Be, you, he know it's over for him if anything come up on his fucking name. And Cowboy was the junkie that played the part on his friend Del. All for jealousy, hate, and envy. That what this all was about. What about no government, no doctor or Susie, whatever the fuck his name is. 
What about none of that shit? It was all about three motherfuckers that were jealous of this man. Well, four. I'm gonna say four because you see, he got pictures out. You know, he was, you know, him and Eric Holder had a conversation in the club, whatever, how the nigga was looking at shit. But I don't think Eric Holder was that jealous enough to kill him. But you know how that shit going in when a nigga don't fuck with you. And a nigga jealous of you. And hate you. And don't give a fuck about you anyway. You don't mean shit to him. So all the motherfucker got to do is the right opportunity come along. Which he wasn't probably thinking about that shit. But the right opportunity came in his face. He was like shit. Fuck it. I tell you nigga I don't give a fuck about that nigga anyway. He ain't doing shit with me. Fuck him. Trying to get my rap career on. This nigga ain't helping me. Fuck him. Time I see that nigga. He ain't funny. You know damn nigga won't jump on the track with me or nothing. Y'all know how that shit go, man. Stop acting, man. People, y'all people gotta wake up, man. This shit happen every day in the hood, man. Stop with that government shit and all that shit. Because if a regular motherfucker gonna get killed in the hood, ain't no conspiracy gonna be behind that shit. That nigga got shot. Joe did it, and that was that. Now, since this internet shit is all about conspiracies and all that bullshit. The shit is not real. Y'all stop that shit. Y'all letting the motherfucking social media shit brainwash y'all motherfucking ass. The shit is that shit is not real. So stop it. You gotta think. Go back to thinking be, like before this shit. You gotta go back to thinking like before social media and know the streets is still the streets. Social media is not gonna change what the streets gonna be. You get on social media and you tap into your computer, you in that world on your computer. When you got them close that motherfucker down, you back to reality. Man, this 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 hood talk news, man. And uh y'all subscribe. I keep y'all posting on everything. One love, man. We out.